Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to go over an awesome mod I just came across the other day for the CRJ700. This mod is going to completely overhaul all the interior cockpit textures. Spectacular, look at this. As well as you have the ability to change the appearance of the windscreen. So don't go anywhere. We're going to walk through the cockpit together and then we'll show you how to download and install this fantastic add-on all in today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back everyone to the cockpit of the beautifully revamped CRJ700. Now before we get into this today, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell and smash on that thumbs up button. All right, so let's dive right into this and take a look and see what changes have been made to the textures here. I think you are really gonna like this. Now you can see all the different bits of wear that they have added here and it really, really adds a lot of realism to the sim. Because let me tell you, most of the planes that are out there are not brand new right off the assembly line. They've got a little bit of wear. Look at the armrest. You can actually see the little ripples in the armrest. And if you take a look at the parking brake handle, something that gets used all the time, look at that. The, the uh, texturing on this is just amazing. Look at that, it looks, looks real. Now, if you can see this, they've even put a lot of work to the backside of the yoke system here. I mean, this this is really attention to detail. I mean, this, I, I can't get over this. This is a free mod. The work that went into this is spectacular. And if we take a look down here at the MCDU, you can see all the wear around here, around the buttons, even behind all the throttles up in this area. So it really, really adds a lot of neat little textures to the cockpit. <laughs> look at look at the headrests here. Look at these. Things. I mean, they are, they're beautiful. <laughs> Tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on this add-on. Now, here's one of the other things that this mod allows you to do. I mentioned that you can adjust the appearance of the windscreen. So you have two different options for this. You can either pick the dirty windscreen or the clean windscreen. So if you want to know how to turn on the dirty windscreen as opposed to the clean windscreen, make sure you stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so now that we've gone through the cockpit and you've gotten an idea of what this is going to do for the interior, now let's get into the installation process and the download. All right, so we're now on the Aerosoft forum page where this download is located. The link for this page will be down below in the description, so be sure to go down there and check that out. Now when you click on that link, it'll bring you up to this page, but you are not going to see this download this file button over here. So you're first going to need to make an account, and it's really simple. All you need to do is just click make an account, then you can go right up here to the top where you see the 2020 FSers and click somewhere around there, and uh, it was pretty self-explanatory. In any case, once you create the account, it'll allow you to download this file. So you're just gonna come over here and give that a big old left click. Now, keep in mind that this download, unfortunately, is only for the store-bought version. If you bought this directly from Aerosoft, you cannot use this, as far as I know. Now, if you did buy this from Aerosoft and have installed it and it works for you, please let me know down in the comments so I can let everybody else know. Okay, so after you click that download file, it is going to populate two different files up here. So you may be confused about this, and I'll explain what each of these are. The first file download is going to be the textures mod for the interior of the plane. The second download that is here is going to be the windshield mod. So if you want the dirty windshield, you're going to need to download this as well. So all we need to do is to click the downloads, Next, it may present you with a page like this. All we're gonna do is go ahead and click the download again, and then it will put you on one last page, and we're just gonna hit the download anyway from there. Next, you should see the download populate in your web browser at the bottom, and we're just gonna allow that to finish up. Once it does, we can extract that file. In the meantime, you can also go back, hit the download this file again, and you can click on the second download here if you decide you want the dirty windows mod. 
All right, so once this finishes downloading, all we need to do is to left click on it. And at this point, it should open up the unzipping program and we should be left here with the CRJ textures mod folder. All we need to do with this is to take it, drag it and drop it right in our community folder. So once you've installed it in the community folder, if you do not want the dirty windows mod, then you are pretty much done and you are set to go. So for those people, I wanna thank you for joining us today. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell. If you have any questions, drop those down below in the comments as well. And we will see you guys on the next one. For everybody else staying that wants to know how to get that dirty windows mod, we're gonna go through that right now because the instructions on that might be a little confusing. So for those of you who want the dirty windows mod and clicked on the second download, once that downloads, you're gonna have a folder appear that says windows options. So we just need to double click on that. It should then open up the unzipping program. And at this point, we need to double click on the windows options. Now here's where they have the clean or the dirty option. And we also have a little readme text here. If you click on that, it can open this up and give you a basic idea of what you need to do. First, you're going to get your community folder, which I have right here. I'm going to double click on that to open it up and I'm going to come all the way down to the CRJ textures mod right here. And we're going to double click on that and then we're going to double click on sim objects, double click airplanes, airsoft, and then we're going to go down and find the texture base folder. Next, you want to double click on that folder to open up its contents. And then we're going to come back over here to either the clean or the dirty mod. Now, the reason why you may ask, well, why do they have a clean? Well, if you change it to dirty, you're gonna be overwriting the files over here. So if you wanna go back to clean, it's nice that they gave us that option. So I'm gonna install the clean mod, but the process is still gonna be the same. So the first thing we need to do is decide on whether you want the clean or the dirty version. Once you do, you just need to double click on that folder. It's gonna then open up the file that we need to copy over here. So we're just going to left click and hold and drag that right over here into the texture base folder. When you release it, it'll ask you, do you wanna replace the file and destination? And you're gonna hit okay. It will overwrite the windshield file. And now whatever you have selected here will then be presented inside the sim. All right, so that's it for today, everybody. I wanna thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. If you have any questions, please drop those down below in the comments section. And if you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit that subscribe and tick that little bell. Well, to all of my flight server friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.